Hello there, this is Carlo and welcome to yet another video. I uh, hope you guys are all doing well and are good. Um, yeah, so um, you can probably notice in the background just here um, that I've got Windows 10 uh, on my uh, 27 inch 5K Retina iMac. Yeah, there's a reason behind that really. Um, I've got a uh, boot camp um, installed on there um, as it is uh, for some uh, programs that I can't run on OS X, uh, i.e. 3ds Max, uh, so on and so on. But day before yesterday, um, I was trying to research some decent um, Mac cleaning software for OS X, and I decided to purchase Clean My Mac 3. Yes, biggest mistake I ever made, to be perfectly honest. I bought it, installed it, it seemed very, very nice, with a very, very nice flash, splash screen and graphic interface, looks very, very pretty. But when I um, cleaned, I have used Clean My Mac before, so I have not done no, no, no errors, okay? I have not misused it or used it wrong, so let me just get that um, out of the way first. And when I run the uh, cleaner, everything seemed to uh, be okay, I think it picked up about 4.5 gig, 5 gig, of files uh, that were not needed on the computer so I cleaned them or should I say I cleaned it um, and everything looks good Mac seemed to have sped up just a little bit you know I noticed a little bit of snappiness on it thought to myself yeah this is this is cool this is great so the next day I'm in the middle of a massive nuke compositing project okay uh, for a client I go to open up Nuke. Licenses are gone. So I'm like, what the f what's going on here? So anyway, I re-licensed Nuke Studio 10.2. I went to find the project that I was working on to continue. Project was gone. Well, what the fucking hell's going on here? I looked everywhere on my Mac, and I've got quite a bit of storage. I think I've got about 10 uh, terabytes of storage, okay? In, under here, I've got separate drives. I've got some separate drives uh, behind the Mac itself, so I've got a lot of storage. I looked everywhere, but I thought to myself, what am I looking for, you know? Um, there's only one place I know it is, because I know where it is, and it wasn't there. So I started to panic. I thought to myself, right, I need to create something, because it was... Um, a bit of an effect that um, needed tweaking and it was quite a, a big effect. I won't go into too much detail because it's a client's project um, and obviously sometimes clients are a bit uh, touchy about whether you talk about what you're doing for them. Uh, so I won't go into detail on what it was but let's just say it was big and it was for television. So anyway, um, I contacted the client, I felt like a right idiot said to them, explained the situation to them and said look can you resend me the um, files over uh, via Dropbox um, and I'll have to work for the night because I think I was only working on a project for about six, seven hours so it weren't too bad, it weren't like I was working on a project for days um, even though it takes days, this project is days long to complete so anyway, uh, they laughed obviously and said yeah no problem we'll send the files back over and I've worked profusely through the night um, and I've literally just finished now um, the project and sent the project off to the clients. I'm still waiting for the client to um, message me back and say whether they like it or not, which should be fine because they've never um, not liked anything I've done for them. Anyway, this morning about five o'clock, I'm getting ready to uh, do a tutorial for you, my guys and my girls out there, and I find Creative Cloud is gone. So I go to the top of the screen, I click down Creative Cloud to see if there's any updates, because every day I check updates, um, that's just the OCD with me, I check for updates. Creative Cloud is gone, you need to reinstall Creative Cloud. I thought, what the flipping hell's going on here? So anyway, after about an hour and a half of trying to sort out where Creative Cloud's gone and install it, because when I tried to install it again, it wouldn't let me. I finally got the thing working. Find up Premiere, uh, sorry, After Effects. 
to uh, test out a tutorial I want to do for you guys because I always test the tutorials out first, make sure they're good. And yeah, I've got about 18 plugins missing. So Mac Porn 3, stay away from it. I'm telling you now, if you've got a Mac, stay away from Mac Porn 3. The thing is a flipping Trojan, it's a, it's a malware. I don't know what you want to call it, but my recommend, recommendation to you guys is to stay away from it because the cleaning, I just run a basic cleanup. Exactly like CC, I've got CC cleaner as well, which is free. You can get that free of charge. And I will post a link in the description for where you can actually find that. But I've used that for quite some time and it always does a cracking job, even a free version. The only thing I say is if you've got like uh, Google as your web browser uh, or any other web browser, obviously untick history when you're cleaning because it does remove the history in your web browser. And you have to sort of, if you're a YouTuber, you have to re-log into your um, YouTube channel and your Gmail and all that. That is the only thing. But apart from cleaning, it does it absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, stay away from Matt Porn, Matt Porn's uh, Clean My Mac 3. Um, it's absolutely horrendous. I can't believe that what had happened. It's cost me over a day and a half of just pure stress. Um, and not just that, um, I'm down a license now um, because I only get three licenses on the Foundry Suite. So I'm down a license now uh, because of that bullshit flipping program. So yeah, it's just a little bit of a heads up for you guys. Next video, we've got something really cool coming up. And I don't usually do reviews, but this thing's really, really cute. This is um, the world's smallest drone. And you've probably seen these on, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Come away. I'll get this in focus for you guys. probably seen these on uh, YouTube before but this is a, a pretty cool little drone um, hard as anything to fly um, but yeah uh, we'll be doing a video on that next so yeah that's gonna be really really cool uh, uh, for you guys to see um, so yeah as always guys thanks for listening um, if you've enjoyed this video and this warning shall I say please hit the like button and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video Ciao, ciao.